Hey guys, welcome to Mr. H Makes. This week, we're going to be focusing on animation retargeting or retargeting animation. Now this is a technique that you can use that will allow you to utilize other third party resources to create animations for your projects. So instead of relying on iClone to make all your animations, you'll have access to things like Mixamo, uh, which you can sign up for free. Uh, there's also paid animations on the Unreal Marketplace. And there's a whole library of free animations, which is a uh, Epic Games content. So I use CC3, uh, but the concept should apply to other 3D content creation programs. The way it works in CC3 is that you need to export the character out in a particular pose, the open A pose. So you select that and apply it to your character I'll provide the link to the official Reillusion tutorial on this below. So anyway, you select your OpenA pose and then you will export out as an FBX, a clothed character. And these are the settings that uh, were recommended by that tutorial I mentioned. It's a fairly old tutorial and it's still good though. Uh, if you follow uh, what it recommends, it should be golden. So over in Unreal, I'm just setting up a folder to import the FBX. Uh, CC3 users are also going to need the uh, auto setup plugin for Unreal and CC3, and I've got a tutorial and how you can install that uh, on the top right. So these are the import settings for Unreal. If you follow them, you should be good to go. Uh, some of them seem a bit counterintuitive, like they ask you to leave animation checked, where although technically you're not sending any animation, but yeah, just stick to that. And uh, once you're all done, just hit import. The auto setup plugin will import the mesh, the animation assets, and the physics skeleton, most importantly, which is what we need to click on to access the skeleton details and eventually the retarget manager. tutorial takes us through a couple of steps to confirm that the skeletons are compatible. Uh, doesn't really tell you what to do if they're not. It just says to make sure that the root and pelvis are animation scales and all the rest the skeleton. I think you can ignore the IK stuff at the bottom. Um, I did and it seems to work. So you click on the retarget manager tab, click add new and add a new skeleton, selecting the new one that you uploaded. And uh, you make sure the rig is humanoid. Don't forget to save. I, I didn't do that at this part, but that's what you need to do. Now, 
locate the folder where the animations uh, and in particular the source mannequin for those animations are located so you select that mannequin this is your source and you'll be doing pretty much the same thing as, as you did earlier which is to launch the retarget manager and add a new skeleton and add that there, that mannequin. And this is very important to make sure you set up humanoid rig. And of course, save that. And that is pretty much all you need to do for that part. So now what we've got to do is find the specific animation you want to retarget to your new skeleton. And you just right click on it and retarget it and select it. Uh, I haven't scaled my target skeleton to the epic skeleton. It didn't seem to make any difference, so just click retarget. And that will save it to the top folder, the content folder. Uh, we'll explain later a, a better methodology, but just, just to show you very quickly what to do. So I just rename it and move it to my desired folder. And you can check the animation and view the end result as an animation file. I'm now just showing you the process of how to add something from the marketplace. Just add it to your project. And that's pretty much all you need to do. Uh, most third party animation packs do come linked or rigged to the epic skeleton, which is uh, compulsory to this process. Uh, it is very important for it to work. Most of the uh, packs, the animation packs are though, so. All right, so this is the acid pack we downloaded. And that's the one we want to retarget. Now, you may have this issue where you don't see the preview mesh, or it's, it's missing from that window. And fortunately, the solution is not too difficult. You get a warning like this, and also it tells you what to do, which is to assign a preview mesh, like so. Now when we go back to the retargeting interface, we'll see it's there. Now we can just retarget like we did before. Uh, and that will take it to the root content folder. Which obviously is not ideal. We would rather, of course, do multiple animations at once. Process is, is pretty much the same. You select your target and you can change the folder, the destination folder. And also you can add a prefix, which helps to organize things. 
pretty much the process. All, all of those assets will be duplicated to the new folder you've created. You can double click on an animation file to view it and you can also view it in the animation asset browser on the right. And that is all for animation retargeting. Next tutorial, we're going to be looking more at uh, cinematography and cameras, which is always good fun. Uh, the various tips and tricks you can use to make your animations more cinematic. So until then, You've been watching Mr. H Makes. I'm Mr. H signing off, wishing you a great week ahead.